do you see final exams on the horizon, don't put off studying. You should begin focusing on your finals a good four to six weeks before they are on your schedule. If you spend time wisely throughout the term and learn the material as you go, you only need a few weeks to prepare. But we recognize that working that far ahead is easier said than done. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and these are tips for preparing for your final exams. Before we get specific to finals, we do want to take the time to remind you that there are two life choices that will make a difference in everything you do. Be positive. To live with optimism is to allow yourself to be as successful as possible. The negative may be easier to think and see, but there's a lot of good out there, not the least of which is that you have the opportunity to receive an education. Not everyone can say that. Celebrate all that is good in your life. And don't forget the value of health. Sleeping well, exercising, and eating a healthy diet will allow your body and mind to be in a place where you can maximize your thought processes. Before you begin, you need to find out what kind of final you are going to have for each class. Cumulative, end of unit, essay versus multiple choice versus short answer questions, in person versus online, with notes or without, once you know what you are facing, you can create a plan for the scope of information you need to cover and a timeline that will get you to the final finish line in great shape. Next, organize all you have to help you study. Notes, books, online resources, and links to online study aids. Set up a spot for each class's work. Put your notes in order and clean out parts of your notebook or tablet that are not important to that course. Put all of your tests on your calendar with reminders and alarms. Many a student has missed a test because they slept through it or lost track of time. Make sure you don't join their ranks. Then determine which finals will be the most important for you. Your calculation can be based on your grades, ability to maintain or raise your grade, the coursework you understand better versus that which confuses you, coursework in your academic major or whatever criterion you choose. Create a plan. Your plan should include a study schedule and a list of objectives for your study goals in each class. So, if your chemistry final needs more of your attention, your plan should reflect that need to study in your schedule. Here are some tips to help you as you begin to study. Find a spot that allows you to focus on the topic at hand. You can utilize your room, a study space on campus, a library, a coffee shop, or maybe a new area each time to help you keep invigorated. Use color coding with ink, paper color highlighters, or post-it notes to help you quickly identify a category of work you need to do. For all your classes, you can use one color to denote a concept you know you must look into at a deeper level, or a color to identify concepts you can quickly look over as you are confident with your understanding of the issues. As you are learning a concept, repeat it out loud. Then your brain processes the information with your eyes and ears. Use study devices such as mnemonics, flashcards, quizzing yourself, or asking others to quiz you. Remember, it isn't cheating or outside the lines to find help. Utilize tutoring services, find resources online, or go to the resource desk at the library to find help, and visit your instructor during office hours to ask questions or to request further information. You are not in this alone. It is important to note that every student doesn't receive information the same way. So finding a YouTube video, Khan Academy lesson, or visiting another instructor to ask questions is perfectly acceptable. If you aren't sure, you can utilize this learning point. Try teaching a topic to someone else. Ask your student to repeat what they heard and see if what they say matches your understanding of the topic. If it does, that's a good sign that you understand the information. If not, take another swing at studying that point. Don't cram, learn. Don't just study for the test, learn. Don't multitask, focus. Turn off notifications and block sites that are your go-tos when you don't want to accomplish. The better you focus, the less time studying will take. The key to studying and focusing is to allow your mind to have some time off. Go for a walk, plan to have five minutes off after every 30 minutes of studying, Figure out what pattern helps you. Give yourself rewards for meeting specific benchmarks. It can be a workout, 
a food treat, a phone call with a friend, an episode of your favorite binge, or what works best for you. For each class, you then need to review the past tests, papers, and assignments you have completed in each course to find the trends in what the instructor determines is essential, and review the scoring utilized in those grading opportunities to see where you can step up your game. This will inform how you prioritize your study focus. Skim the readings. Take a piece of paper or a tablet or a computer page and draw a line vertically down the page. On the left side of the page, write down the concepts covered in each reading. Then write a short description of your understanding of that topic. On the right side of the page, write down any parts of the concept that you need to review based on a clear lack of understanding of the reading. Go through your notes and follow the same procedure. On the left, write what was covered in the lecture, and on the right, note any concepts you can't describe to another person. If there are formulas, theory names, dates, or vocabulary words that are important for the test, place each on a corresponding page. Write the theory, word, or formula, and provide a definition for their use. Now, you can utilize the review pages to set up a list of the items you need to spend more time understanding. You now have a listing of the scope of the information the course has covered, and you have identified the items that will be crucial to performing well on the test in the form of the foundation of the topic, such as theory names, formulas, or definitions. Once this process is complete, you have finished a large amount of the study that needs to be accomplished, and you have a target list of the information you need to research to better understand. Then review any study guide if provided and attend any study session offered by the instructor so you can see what will be prioritized. Once you have all of this information collected, you can target the topics you need to focus on to dramatically increase your opportunity for success. When it comes to studying and especially preparing for finals, it is essential to spread out your work. Allow time for rest, perspective, and reconsideration of what you need to be focusing on and when. Work far enough ahead that you can take a break the night before the test to relax, sleep, eat well, and have a few distractions. Giving your brain that break will increase your recall of the important concepts. And recognize that many of the tips we have provided will work well throughout the term, not just for finals. Start next term off well by utilizing these organization tips and work throughout the term to set yourself up for final exams. The most critical final exam study tip we can give you is to get started. It is never too early and right now is better than tomorrow. Get started. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.